Hi, uh, welcome back. Uh, I am not sure how many more of these topical Bible studies I'm going to be doing. I'm starting to get busy with work. Um, and depending on how long this particular job lasts and how busy I get, um, it may be a while before you see more of these Bible studies. Um, and I wanted to see, I wanted to share this particular uh, verse of uh, passage of scripture because as it is applied to King David, uh, even though I'm nowhere near a king or anything like that, still, nevertheless, it, it has applied to me. Uh, and the Lord has been there for me, whether I wanted him to be there or not. And, uh, uh, and this has been very humbling to me uh, to know that the Lord loves me as his child. I accepted him as my Lord and Savior, uh, not really fully understanding what, what, why I was doing it when I was seven. I did it again when I was 14, and then 17, at the age of 17, I started understanding why it was important to follow Jesus. And I had been learning some very hard lessons until I was at least 35, when I really began to start digging in and seeking the Lord. Uh, and so it's important to understand that we as children of God, when we first accept him, there are things that he will protect us from, regardless of whether we want his protection or not. And even when we don't want his protection, we don't know what he is protecting us from. And I have found looking over my life, that there are several occasions in which I was going to go a certain way or down a certain path and the end of it was destruction and he saved me from it. Now I'm beginning, just beginning at the age of 51 to understand how important it is for a child of God to be dependent upon the Lord in everything whether it be a job, whether it be food, whether it be clothing, whether it be shelter. It is absolutely important as a Christian to be dependent upon God for all of our needs. So I want to share this uh, Psalm 34. Uh, I'm going to read it all. It is only because nobody reads scripture anymore. They always put their own twist on it. They put their interpretation on it. They put what they think it might be saying to us today. Um, we just don't ever read the pure word of God. And so starting with verse 1 and on through verse 22 of Psalm 34. Here it is. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that fear him and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth, that trusteth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. 
The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. <coughs> Depart from evil, and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all of their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. <coughs> Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Thank you very much. <coughs>